Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to adjust your sleep schedule on your iPhone so your iPhone will automatically set alarms for you based on the sleep schedule that you guys set. Now, this is all going to be done through the health app on your iPhones. But before we get started, I'm just going to remind you guys, I do have tons of tutorials like this on my channel where I show you guys how to customize your iPhone and a bunch of cool tips and tricks. So if you guys are interested in that stuff, uh, be sure to go check that out. And also, I'm on my road to 10,000 subscribers, so I'd really appreciate if you guys would consider subscribing to my channel. It would really mean a lot. Uh, anyhow, to do this and adjust your sleep schedule, all you want to do is go over to the health app on your phone. So let's go ahead and open up the health app. Once you're on the health app, you want to go to where it says browse on the bottom right. Click on browse, scroll down, and you'll see an option for sleep. Let's go ahead and click on that. Scroll down, and you will see here it says set up sleep. Your devices can help you get better sleep and understand your sleep patterns. Uh, so basically, all you want to do is click get started. And then we'll tell you here that your devices can help you with your sleep by doing a sleep schedule, a sleep mode, a wind down, and also your Apple Watch will help you as well. Uh, anyways, all you have to do is click on next. And then here it says to set a sleep goal. So you just got to put the amount of hours that you normally would sleep. So let's just say, uh, let's do six hours and 30 minutes. That's usually a good night for me, but... Uh, you know, let's just do six hours for me. Uh, but anyways, you just want to choose anything that you want right here. Uh, once you've done that, you want to click on next. And then here it says set your first schedule. So it shows all the days that are active on here. So I just want mine every day as I want to stay on the same schedule, me personally. But if you guys want to do two different things, you could set up two different schedules. One being for like your week that you work and then one being for like weekends and stuff like that if you guys still wake up at certain times. So you guys can adjust that by clicking on the days at the top just by clicking on and off of them. Uh, anyhow, I'm just going to keep mine on every single day for me personally. Uh, then if you guys scroll down here, it shows you your bedtime and your wake up time. So to adjust this, you just want to click and drag on this little dial here. You'll be able to adjust to the time that you normally would go to bed and then a time that you want your alarm to be set for for you. So, uh, for example, I will do, let's just say 12 o'clock for me or yeah, let's do 12 o'clock. So we'll do 12 o'clock. Once you've done that, you can just move down to the bottom and then you guys will see wake up alarm right here. So uh, all you have to do is click on that to enable it, and then it will turn on your alarm automatically for you so you guys don't have to do that yourselves. And then obviously you guys can choose a sound that you want as well by clicking on this and then just choosing any sound that you have here. And then you have the option for vibration as well at the very top. Anyhow, so you just back out of here when you're done. Then what you wanna do is click on add. And then you guys see here that it will then have my everyday sleep schedule for that time. And now, like I said before, if you guys want two different schedules, like one for a work schedule, one for a weekend, you guys can click on add another schedule here and do the same thing, but just for the opposite days. But once you've done that, you can just click on next. And then it will tell us here about sleep mode. Sleep mode can automatically simplify your lock screen at your scheduled bedtime. It will also turn on do not disturb to reduce interruptions. You can also give certain callers permission to break through the do not disturb in settings. And you can also turn on sleep mode and on or off in control center as well. If you guys want me to go more in depth on sleep mode, just leave a comment down below. I'll make another video for you guys explaining more in depth. Uh, anyways, it's up to you if you want to enable it or not. You don't have to. So you just go on and click enable or skip. And then here it says track sleep with your Apple Watch. You can do the same thing, enable it or skip. But basically, your watch can just track how long you sleep and how long uh, until you wake up with a silent haptic alarm. The display also dims and locks itself at bedtime so you don't have to wake up in the middle of the night for your watch. So you can go ahead and click on enable or skip for that as well. And then here it says sweet dreams. Here's a summary of your setup. So you can change your schedule at any time. And this just summarizes what we already clicked and went through. And you guys can always customize this as well. Uh, anyhow, uh, once you're done doing that, you just want to click on done and you are then good to go. I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to set up your sleep schedule on your health app on your Apple iPhones. If this video does help you out, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.